Alright guys, Jesus, have we got a <laughs> nasty, gloomy, depressing, slit your wrist kind of day. This is uh, day three of this shit. This, this is what uh, it has looked like from the moment I got in this fucking truck. Was that, good God, was that the day before yesterday? Uh, that I got in this damn truck. It's the same temperature, 52 degrees here. I don't know where the fuck I am. I think I'm barreling across uh, West Virginia, maybe. Some shithole state like West Virginia on this gloomy ass day. What is it? So that would be Wednesday, October 28th. I guess we're one week away from uh, Civil War, Martial Law, and Mad Max beginning in one week as I work my way to Florida. So, uh, you know, you would think with, uh, with, with everything on that should be on my mind, you know, such as uh, Mad Max and uh, the decline and fall of the American Empire and the collapse of a planet and uh, you know all the fucking work I have to do and when I get to Florida you would think I would have plenty of things on my mind but of course uh, none of that uh, is is on my mind what's on my mind and uh, gee take a wild guess what is on Hambone, the Doomsday Lonely Hearts Mind. It is the, uh, I guess it's the, and I, I need to tread very carefully in this, uh, <laughs> uh, in this rant. Uh, I guess it's just the whole subject of, of what would Shakespeare probably got the unrequited love. Uh, he, you know, just this whole tired saw of, uh, you know, just this absolutely futile quest of, uh, you know, finding my my forever doomer chick uh, with, with everything that needs to be on my mind. It's the, the only thing that, that's just, just eating my mind is, is, is why is this so fucking hard? Why is this so fucking hard? Uh, I, 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 you know, is, are my standards just too high? Uh, I, I really, really don't feel like they are. Uh, maybe this is just all part of being 61, I guess, instead of 21. You know, get, getting three blowjobs on my goddamn 21st birthday from beautiful young women. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. You know, uh, it, 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 at what point? Uh, it, 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 it never took me, uh, up until I became a doomer, I mean, it never, there was never a, a point, I guess, for more than like six months, you know what I'm saying, uh, between girlfriends. You know, one of them would go south, and, uh, you know, just like anything else, well, hell, uh, just get you another damn girlfriend. Oh, Jesus. You know, driving down here to Florida, you know, ready for the next chapter of my little snowbird adventure. So, uh, you know, when I was getting ready to check out of this campground today, I, you know, I struck up this conversation with these snowbirds. Okay, uh, <clears throat> heading to Florida together for the winter. And I, I'm, I'm quite sure they're, you know, the total normie, clueless fucking morons. I mean, they drive one of these goddamn 38-foot fucking 
planet-eating motorhomes, you know, the sign of the clueless fucking moron, the, you know, the, you know, these giant goddamn motorhomes uh, pulling a fucking SUV behind the goddamn, uh, and, and, and instead of the SUV pulling the trailer, what you have now are the, are, are, are these fucking monstrosities pulling the motorhome. So anyway, uh, th that's the kind of people they were, but th th that has really nothing to do with this rant. Because, uh, I mean, you could tell that this couple was obviously in love. That they were snowbirds uh, heading to Florida. Now, they were probably a few years older than me. I'm 61. I'm guessing they might have been 64, but you know, roughly the same age as me. And and guys, I I, I know we we've all seen this, and uh, you know where one of the couple is a you know a, a nice looking, trim, fit, uh, attractive uh, person, and then their their spouse is, is some fat dumpy whatever and I, I, I don't mind saying it, it appears once you get into the 60s I'm starting to figure out that more often than not when you encounter this that it's the man is the better looking of the two so I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm sitting there talking to these very nice folks you know asking me all about my my little camper and where I park it, you know, having that snowbird conversation uh, that, that snowbirds uh, that snowbirds like to have and I'm just sitting there looking at this guy and uh, so, you know, like me uh, th th this man he has a full head of hair uh, you know, he's got a few extra pounds around the middle like I do. I'm guessing his BMI was about the same as mine. I have a BMI of 23, which means I need to drop about 15 pounds. I, uh, I prefer to have a BMI of 21. But anyway, he and I built pretty much the same. Okay, we weren't bald-headed, we weren't fat. Uh, we might not, you know, we, we, we might not be the best looking, well, we were the two best looking men in the campground because I think we were the only two men in the campground. So anyway, and then there's his wife, this very sweet, uh, obviously loves him, he loves her, and I'm looking at her, and uh, again, you know, about my age, a couple years older, and she is just this fat, dumpy, uh, just, you know, just this unremarkable 60-something, 60-something uh, woman. Uh, you know, with about half her head was gray hair. Uh, and I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe a BMI of uh, 28, 28 to 30. And, 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 I, and, I, and I'm sitting there, you know, tr try, trying to have this conversation where in the back of my mind, what I'm picturing is this type, I, 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 I'm trying, <laughs> and, and, and am I the only person who does this? I, I'm trying to picture this woman naked, uh, you know, uh, initiating a sexual encounter with this man. And, 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 I'm, and I'm trying to look at it from this man's perspective. Like, like, like okay, uh, alright, you know, I'm in my 60s, uh, obviously I'm not going to have some 22-year-old hottie crawling through my fucking window uh, to give me a blowjob on my birthday, but uh, on one hand, but you know, what, can that man get it up for this woman? I, I, I was trying to picture, uh, okay, I, I find my soulmate, 
I lower my standards and you know that this woman I'm not acting like she was some 300 pound blob you know just some disgusting uh, you know what I'm saying she would just you just put her in a crowd of 60 year old women and she would just disappear into the crowd uh, I, I don't want to make it sound like that she was just some fucking ugly hag. She was a normal looking by 2020 standards. And, and, and I'm just thinking uh, of this man. Uh, does he just turn the fucking lights off? And, and am I just too visual? Is that my problem? Has pornography just completely ruined me where where uh, it, it's such a large part of a sexual encounter is the visuals you know I have uh, I have never been uh, an in the dark uh, under the covers kind of guy uh, I, I want to see a beautiful naked woman uh, uh, in, in, in front of me, uh, hopefully coming towards me, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, th there is a visual component, uh, and so, I, I'm just thinking, Hambone, if, if, if you could just learn to turn the fucking lights off, uh, and get under the covers, you know, like Benjamin Franklin uh, was, was saying back in the 1700s. That's the way that, uh, you know, what's the big fucking deal? Turn the fucking lights off and, 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 and climb under the covers. And, uh, and, and it's all the same. But it's not all the same, uh, Benjamin. And you know goddamn well it's not. Uh, it's not the fucking same. And, uh... So I don't know if, 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 I, if I erase the maximum BMI of 23 out of my, uh, out of my requirement list for my Doomer Chick Forever. And, uh, so, uh, so here I am again. Uh, as I, as I say, I, 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 I need to very carefully, uh, tread lightly here. Uh, so anyway, let, let's just say I have the bar set. I know the woman that I want for my Doomer Chick forever. Uh, so the universe... Uh, in, in case you guys have not figured this out, that Don Juan does have his Dulcinea, but I can't have her. The, uh, for, for whatever reason, uh, the one woman walking this planet uh, that meets all of my criteria, that I, the, the woman uh, that I, uh, and, and I don't mind saying this, uh, that I am in love with, I have been in love with this woman uh, for over a year. Uh, I know it, she knows it. Uh, I don't know how many people listening to this know it, but I can't have her. Uh, the, the universe is it, just, uh, there, there, there's just too many practical considerations. And uh, it, 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 it will never happen, so I, I you know, just uh, have to fucking deal with it. And that, that, that uh, I, I, with, with this unrequited love. And so, I, you know, my, my two choices for the rest of my fucking life are, you know, uh, am I going to spend the rest of my fucking life, uh, you know, being Charlie Brown, uh, you know what, I'm opening up the mailbox, looking for the fucking uh, Valentine from the little red-haired girl that never comes. 
uh, it, it, you, you know, pining uh, uh, over some, uh, over the woman who needs to be my doomer chick forever, but the universe isn't going to let me have her. All right, so that, that, that's, that's one thing I can do, is, uh, is go to my fucking grave uh, whining and pouting uh, o o over, uh, over this woman, o or I can, uh, uh, then of course the other one is, you know, go out and find a, another uh, goddamn woman. Uh, to get this woman uh, out of my mind, uh, you know, getting back there to the goddamn pile of fish and, and all of this shit. Uh, but every fucking woman I, I meet on pile of fish, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, you know, like like Don Juan. I mean, uh, Don Quixote and Dulcinea is every fucking woman I meet. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this woman that the universe won't let me have uh, is is going to be the bar that any woman that I meet has to surpass, and I'm never going to meet that woman. Uh, at least on pile of fish, so uh, you know uh, all of this shit is uh, you know. And, the, and this was like a ten-minute conversation I'm, I'm I'm having with this couple, uh, just looking at you know a happily married couple. Uh, how the fuck do they? do it. How in the fuck uh, is, what, what did this woman look like? I, I don't know how long they've been married. Let's say they've been married 30 years ago. What did she look like when she was 33? Uh, what is this man looking at when he's seeing uh, this woman? Uh, next to him across the table or God forbid uh, naked in their bedroom is, is he seeing the is he seeing the uh, young woman that he married uh, you know what I'm saying and but but I but but so I am, am I jealous of this man or not I mean I honestly don't know whether I'm jealous of this man or not. On, on, on one hand, uh, you, you know, dude, you have clearly found your soulmate. Uh, you, you will never go through the fucking agony uh, that uh, consumes so much of my life. Uh, so obviously, I was jealous of the man. But, it, you know, if, if this woman uh, if, if, if she checked off every other box, uh, you know, if, if she were a doomer chick, uh, if she were an anti-masker, uh, and an anti-trumper, uh, a non-breeder, uh, funny as hell, uh, you know what I'm saying? If she, if she marked, if if I could go down the list and check off every box uh, that you know that my little Dulcinea uh, meets, except for the the, the physical looks. Uh, <laughs> You know, so then, and so now, of course, uh, I, I've, I've been on the road about uh, about an hour, uh, you know, trying to uh, figure all this out. Uh, and, and then, of course, okay, Hambone, well, let, let's be fucking honest. All right, your little Dulcinea, uh, who you're so in love with, who gives you a fucking hard on uh, from 50 yards out. Let's say that's the only. Uh, fucking box uh, that, that you know what I'm saying that she could 
check off that, that you could check off and she failed every other box okay uh, you, you see her uh, coming at you down the sidewalk and, and, and you're ready to have a spontaneous orgasm of just looking at this woman fully dressed coming at you down the sidewalk she's got that uh, on, on, on one hand, but, but she's a clueless fucking bimbo, she's a normie, uh, she's a breeder, she's got a fucking mask on, uh, <laughs> why is this so fucking difficult? You know, I am in the Chesapeake Bay watershed, I did not realize the Chesapeake Bay watershed went this far west anyway uh, so I, I I get in the car I you know we, we we wish each other bon voyage I get in my little gas sucking truck pull in my little camper they climb into their fucking 38 foot monstrosity pulling their SUV behind them we wish each other uh, bon voyage to Florida have a nice winter, have a nice life. I get in the car, I turn on my iTunes, and, and the first song out is Lucinda Williams' I Long For Your Kiss. <laughs> oh God, I, I, I have to sit here uh, and have Lucinda Williams, uh, who Dulcinea actually reminds me of a little bit, uh, talking about unrequited love, uh, I, I, I have to put up with, uh, with I long for your kiss to, uh, the first fucking song, uh, that, that comes on the radio, and what was the second one, uh, I, that the second one comes on, what the fuck was the second one? It, it, you know, it was another, it, it was another fucking, uh, a, a, another fucking unrequited love, uh, never, you know, it, 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 fucking Romeo and Juliet. Uh, it was the second song, but it, it was a guy singing. Uh, I, I, and I can't even remember which one it was. It was like, uh, the male version of Lucinda's I Long For Your Kiss. Uh, I made it through about one verse, turned the fucking, uh, the, the fucking iTunes off. And so, so here I am, uh, southbound, heading to Florida. You, you know, so what's waiting for me in Florida is, you know, uh, a, a very attractive, intelligent, funny, uh, not uh, exactly a doomer, well she is a doomer chick, but not exactly the kind of doomer chick I'm looking for, you know, living uh, at the end of a dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, I, uh, I have this woman, she, you know, she has the same mental illness as me, we're both, we're both uh, bipolar. Her mood swings are a little more uh, wild and rapid than mine. Uh, so, so here I am for the next six fucking months. I, I, I'm, I'm effectively going to be living with this woman. I mean, I mean she has her little house uh, about 50 feet from my trailer, but I am going to be spending more time with this uh, attractive, intelligent, uh, semi-doomer chick uh, who already lives at the end of a dirt road uh, in, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, there, there is no chance uh, that we are that she is going to be my, you know, my quote woman. So I, I've I've got a so I, I've got this female, this attractive 50 year old uh, female that I am going to be spending probably hours of a day with, 
and, and, and essentially she's going to be my pseudo wife. It's just it's just going to be like I'm uh, I, I'm entering one of these sexless marriages uh, for the next six months. Uh, that we're going to be hanging out, uh, working on projects together, probably having a lot of meals together, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be doing everything except one thing together. And then uh, what I have uh, one hour away is uh, another uh, attractive 50-year-old woman uh, at least a year and a half ago. Uh, she had a BMI of probably right around 21, but a, you know, a physically attractive, uh, not a doomer chick. Uh, she is a normie, but uh, not uh, uh, not not a total clueless bimbo. So you might remember that ill-fated. Uh, trip I took. She lives in Gainesville, Florida, and who she is is, is, the, uh, is the woman that I have had more sex with uh, than I will ever have with any woman until the day I die. Uh, I have, uh, we were together 12 years. I was actually together with her longer than I was my dear sweet ex-wife. And so anyway, we have one thing in common now. Uh, is sex. So uh, now I'm afraid, you know, she's a lefty. She's your, you know, she's your straight ahead classic lefty. I mean, she despises the ground Donald Trump works on. I do have a lingering fear that she could be a mask Nazi. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure she, uh, I, I, I am. I am, I am pretty sure she's not an anti-masker. Hopefully she's somewhere between the two extremes, between the, the mask Nazi and the anti-mask Nazi. So anyway, uh, I don't know how many of you remember that, uh, that train wreck. Uh, it'll be two years ago, January, when I tried to hook up with this woman and rekindle our relationship. I don't need to rehash that. We lasted five days, uh, but it, it, it's clear there's absolutely no chance of us, you know, getting in a full-fledged relationship. But uh, the the chance of pretty much just, just pure sexual relationship, N nothing else. So I'm I'm actually wrestling with the fact, guys, this is what I'm actually wrestling with, the fact of going down here, you know, trying to, since I can't have the woman I want, I, 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 I'm just trying to mold her out of two other women. So, so, so what I'm picturing is that, that I will spend uh, all of this time with one uh, attractive, a uh, 50 year old woman uh, for about a week and who who I will never have sex with and then wh wh what I'm thinking uh, of doing with my old girlfriend I don't even know if she uh, if she knows her daughter I think is actually subscribed to this channel I'm, I'm pretty sure her daughter who is the the little girl that I raised for uh, for seven years uh, from age two to nine, people don't understand that I did have a child. Uh, wasn't my, I mean, another man's child for seven years in my life. So I think that this woman, we'll call her Lulu, might get the message from her daughter uh, that that uh, Hambone is is living one hour from me. So what what I'm thinking is actually approaching Lulu and, and, and just saying, darling, it's like this. Uh, it, it, it's clear that there is, that, that we're never going to be, you know, that. We're, we're, we're not going to be soulmates. We had 12 years together, 
but it, it, for all I know, she has a boyfriend now. Which and I and I hope she does. I really do. I really do hope that Lulu has found a uh, has found a new man in her life and is happy. I, I really do hope that. But on the chance that she hasn't, uh, that for one night a week, here, here here's the offer on the table, that for one night a week. I am going to leave the Point Lonesome Swamp. I am going to drive the the hour to Gainesville, Florida. Uh, you know, we're going to go out, have a nice dinner. Either we'll cook at her house or I'll pick her up. We'll go out. We'll have a nice dinner. Uh, you know, a couple of drinks. This woman does like her tequila. Uh, have a couple of drinks, maybe smoke a bowl, and then we're we're going to fuck our brains out just like we did for 12 years. Uh, she's 50 years old now, it, it, as, as well as the uh, woman that uh, you know, my next door neighbor. They're they're both 50 year attractive, 50 year old women. So that's the deal. Uh, she gets dinner, drinks, uh, weed, and a hard dick. And what I get out of the deal is is pussy. And just make a uh, what did I, I won't use your name, darling? What a what was it? A contractual friendship, and it just make it clear from the you know sign a fucking contract. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm paying for everything. Uh, I, I am bankrolling the thing. Uh, that, that's what you get, darling. Uh, and th this woman, uh, I, you know, sexually, good God, uh, we are a match. It's just that everything else above the waist we are uh, two toxic uh, ships colliding. Uh, so that's it. That's the deal. Dinner, drinks, weed if you want it, and a hard dick. One night a week, we fuck our brains out. Uh, I'll even wait for her to, uh, you know, go to sleep. Uh, and then I will simply sneak off, uh, get in my gas-sucking truck, and head back to the Point Lonesome Swamp uh, to wake up the next morning, you know, 50 feet from this other woman. Uh, th th this, this is not, uh, I mean, th th this is my other option I'm weighing. Now, Lulu very well might tell me to go fuck myself like she did the last time I was here uh, when I made that little slip up, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, any of you who remember that little slip up I made. So she very well might just tell me to go fuck myself uh, that, she, that, she's not a, that, that she's not a damn sex doll. Uh, at, at ham bones, dicks, beck and call. But, but guys, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, what the fuck? Uh, th this is what I'm fucking reduced to. I, I, I can't have Dulcinea. Uh, she may as well be a figment of my imagination. She is a, a simple twist of fate. She is a cruel twist of fate. Uh, I think doesn't Bob Dylan have a song on blood on the tracks? I'm tangled I'm tangled up in blue over a simple twist of fate. I can't have fate is not going to let me dislike you know the man and the woman in that song for whatever reason. I can't have the uh, my doomer chick forever. So uh, that's option number one. Option number two is get out there and, and start playing the, this fucking pile of fish and be making all sorts of compromises 
uh, just to have a quote woman in my life or to try to uh, uh, you know mold the two uh, these two women uh, down there in Florida into a, you know a pseudo Dulcinea and uh, and, and just cobble uh, the, these two women together and, and, and try to pretend like uh, she's one woman and, uh, and, and and that's how I will get through six months at, at the Point Lonesome Swamp but anyway I've got to wrap up this doomsday lonely heart whine because uh, I'm getting hungry I gotta find me I have not had a bite to eat uh, today and I'm getting hungry gotta go have another meal alone well not alone I got my little soulmate a little soulmate Sancho Panza. I am so not fucked. Bye guys.